Hi everyone, Rob here from Power Learning Solutions again, and we are continuing to look at some of the basics of building your own course using the Canvas Learning Management System. We've already looked at how to set up your basics of, of your course shell, how to create content pages and format the text, and how to work with images on our pages. So now we're going to take a look at how to embed some web-based content, different types of web-based content that you might want to use. And some of the more common ones that I use are things like YouTube videos, uh, interactive uh, quiz tools such as Quizlet, um, some Google Forms I frequently like to embed. Flipgrid is another tool that I sometimes embed. So I'm going to uh, show you how to embed those different elements. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to set up a new page to put some of this interactive content on. We'll just work with putting all of this content onto a single page for now as an example. So I'm going to click on the new page icon. So I'm going to start off by embedding a YouTube video onto my content page. I work with YouTube videos frequently in my courses. I've already added the YouTube uh, third-party app here in Canvas, so you can see it's showing up on the toolbar. But I'm going to go directly to the YouTube video that I want to embed, and I'm going to simply grab the URL for that, the, uh, the hyperlink for that page. So here's a video that I have created, and I'm simply going to click on the share button here. I don't even need to grab the embed code when working with this because I've installed that third party uh, integration for YouTube in Canvas. So I have this URL, and I can go back to my Canvas page, and I simply need to paste the URL in place, hit enter, and it's going to add the player here for me. When I save this page, you're going to see that it comes up as a little miniature YouTube player with the video. And I can click on play and it's going to expand that video for my students to watch. So now I have a YouTube video in place. I'm going to add another interactive element here uh, that is a little bit more technical in scope than just pasting in the URL for the YouTube video. I'm going to use uh, some embed code for an interactive uh, quiz that I've created using a tool called Quizlet. And I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using Google Forms as well. So I'm going to go to this quiz that I have created using Quizlet. It's got a bunch of different uh, tools here that your students can use, a bunch of different ways of interacting with these flashcards, uh, different games, flashcards, quizzes that they, can, uh, that they can interact with. And now that I'm in here, I'm going to grab the embed code. It's under this more icon. So I just click on the embed uh, option here. I click on copy the HTML, and it should copy this code here for me. Then I like to usually paste it into a uh, notepad so that I don't lose it before I go and put it into my LMS. So it's got everything configured here for me. I go back into Canvas and I need to, a place to put it on the page. So typically in my rich text editor, I simply type the word here. I switch to HTML view. I can see where here is. I paste in my embed code. I go back to my rich text editor and you'll see that there's a window here as popping up with the matching game. Everything is configured. Now let's say that I wanted to add in uh, another option using Google Forms. Well, I can easily do that as well from HTML view. And I'm going to add that in to the next line here. I have another Google form here. This is a survey that I've created, a getting started uh, survey that I frequently use in my online courses. So I'm just going to hit send on this and it gives me options to grab a hyperlink to it or some embed code. Again, I can grab that code here. I like to copy it and paste it into Notepad again. And another reason why I do this is because I like to check what it has for the height and the width. I don't like it having a manually set width. I like to set that to 100% so that it goes the full screen width. And this height of 2600 uh, pixels is too high, so I'm just going to set that to 500. 
so that you're not scrolling forever looking at this. I'm going to copy this again, go back into Canvas, add in this embed code, and hit Save and Publish. I've now got three different embedded elements on this page here. A YouTube video, a game that I embedded using the embed code from Quizlet, and a Google Form all embedded on this page. Interactive content from, from third-party sources. So a great way to add some elements to liven up your course pages in Canvas.